What? 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 Bruh. What are the Ravens doing, man? Um, needless to say, I, I, I'm shocked they made this, this decision. And I don't quite understand it. So, um, LJ Fort was under contract. And the Ravens decide to release him. Now, by releasing him, they do save some cap space, which they could use towards trying to make another move during free agency. Which I get that, but I, I just don't understand why releasing him. You understand? You don't... LJ Ford's not even making that much, okay? He's not making that much for the type of production he's bringing. He's been a huge impact, not only for our defense, but for special teams as well. He's been very productive. You don't get... A guy this productive at the amount of money we were... You don't get him at the price we were paying him. He was being underpaid for the production he was bringing to this team. So I was... Them releasing him, I, I don't understand it. Now, of course, they're trying to save up cash space. And it looks like they're trying to potentially sign him on a cheaper deal. Basically, they make this move to get more cap space. And they're hopeful that... If the numbers work out and they're able to make that move in free agency and get whoever they're trying to look for, that there'll still be enough money to bring him back on a cheaper deal. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Obviously, they prepared for this. They have, um, you, you got other linebackers. We did draft guys like that. We got Queen and Harrison, so we drafted to prepare for this. But like, still, there was no reason to get rid of him. I. I just don't completely understand this move. Th th oh. This is this is a painful one. This is a painful one. Losing LJ Fort for just, I'm I'm speechless. I don't I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I wasn't expecting this. So far, the moves the Ravens have made, I've expected it. Them going out and picking up an offensive lineman, I expected that. And they helped, especially considering they got a guy to help fill up the position that was left, you know, empty when Yonder retired. They did that. Okay. They also retained some of their players. I expected that. I expected both Judon and Ngakwe to be signed somewhere else. I didn't expect them to come back to the Ravens. That one was within my predictions. I expected them to keep retain some of their defensive players, specifically guys like Bowser and Derek Wolf. They did that. Okay. Everything seems to be going the way I expected them. Now, of course, in terms of picking up a free, a free agent receiver, I didn't really see that specifically happening, but I didn't put it out of, you know, I didn't say it wasn't, was impossible that that would happen. I still think they have a shot, especially because the market for receivers this offseason is not good. You know, so far in free agency, the, the receiving market has been really bad. So you have an opportunity. You're not going to get this top opportunity next year because I don't think the market next year for receivers is going to be as bad as it is this season. So you have a chance to get a receiver. And there's also a chance, you know, you could try and go out and get Hudson. Like, there's still moves to be made in free agency that could potentially help out. Still trying to get a new center, get a receiver, or get a pass rusher. So I still see them trying to make those type of moves. That's what was within my expectations. I'm not surprised about that. But this move, this came out of nowhere. This decision came out of nowhere. They are willing to let LJ Fort test the market to get cap space. The <sighs> I don't understand the move. I, I just don't understand the move. Oh, my God. It's one of the most productive guys on defense. You just, you just, you let him go to get some cap space. And you think you might be able to retain him and get a, you, you think you may be actually able to get this guy on a cheaper deal? For what he brings to the table, there's going to be a market for this guy. Somebody's going to pick him up. I'm not even going to be surprised. If later today you hear this guy gets picked up or tomorrow, I wouldn't be surprised. You just let this guy straight up go. <sighs> just, I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand. Everything the Ravens have done so far, I've understood because the, the, the plan and just the way they've approached this upcoming free agency, everything they've done so far has been within my expectations. But this one, I don't know, man. I, I just, I just don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't completely understand the decision to, to release him. I, I just, oh my God. 
I don't understand the reason to release LJ for it, specifically because what the production he was bringing was far above what he was being paid. And if the Ravens did this with the hope of potentially bringing him back on a cheaper deal, are you sure you'll even get an opportunity to do so? The, uh, I got to see. I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see. With all this cap space they're trying to pick up, let me see who they're going to go out and get. Let's see. At this point, I think the Ravens flock are expecting a receiver. If you don't get a receiver out of this, if you are willing to sacrifice and cut LJ Ford, you better be getting the receiver out of this or something. Because, like, I, I, just, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to I, – I just I'm, – I'm confused. I'm confused what – I'm. I just – oh, my God. All right, let's try and just – Oh man, I I really don't know what to think. This move came out of nowhere. I mean, he's under contract, so we all nobody was expecting this. But to cut him of all people in order to save cap space, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This, this better work out. Whatever deal they're trying to make, uh, it better work out, man. Because for them, for them to willingly cut and release this guy in order to get cap space, a guy that has been very productive for your defense and in your special teams. This guy provides a lot to the team and you're just going to straight up cut him. This better work out, man. This better be the big splash deal Ravens Flock's been waiting for, man. I mean, me personally, I, I don't know what they're going to do with this. I'm not expecting a receiver. I don't know what they're going to do, but like, you're going to have to deliver, man. You're going to have to deliver. Because if you're willing to cut LJ Ford in order to get cap space, you better be getting somebody big, man. I'm I'm still waiting to hear about Kenny Galladay, man. This better be the Galladay deal or something. I don't know, man. Because this is, this is wild to me. This is wild to me. I was not expecting this. There's, there's no way he's coming back. There's no way. I... <sighs> You know what? I, I'm not. At the end of the day, I'm not going to completely judge it. Who knows? Maybe the Ravens will luck out. Maybe whatever deal they're trying to make right now in free agency that involves them getting that extra cap space, maybe they'll not only get that deal going and get that player, but maybe they'll also have enough money left to be able to re-sign LJ Ford on a cheaper deal. Maybe it'll just work out for the Ravens the way they potentially have it planned. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But the fact that they're willing to let him go test the market, I don't know, man. I just, I, I just don't know about that. You're giving up a real, a quality player, a quality player that brings a lot of production to your team. You are getting rid of him for cap space. At this point, it one or two options. It, it this better be for an offensive move. Either you're bringing in a center, you're either signing a center. Or you're signing a receiver. I don't want to hear about no pass rusher. Because you do not get rid of him to get a deal for a pass rusher. This better either be a center or a receiver. One of the two. One of the two. A center or a receiver. I'm not going to sit there and, sit here and completely judge this deal. If they're willing to let him go in order to get the cap space that they want, let's see the deal they're going to make. I want to see how this goes. You better get a center or a receiver. Because... Getting rid of a quality player like that just for cap space? Oh, you better make a perfect use of that cap space. It better be a receiver or it's a center. Nothing else. Don't even look at a pass rusher. No, 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 no. Center, receiver. One of the two. But wow, man. I just, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this. This, this, uh, this left me speechless, man. LJ Ford is one of my favorite players, and he's just getting released just so they can get some cap space. I just, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. This, this threw me for a loop. This one hurt, man. This, this really hurt. I was not expecting this. Everything, every move the Ravens have made so far in free agency has been within my expectations and predictions. This one blew me out the water. Was not expecting it. But you know what? 
We'll see what the Ravens do with that cap space. They better utilize it well, and they better pick somebody up because you don't get rid of this guy if you're not going to pick up somebody for the offense. I'm sorry. You just don't do that. With that being said, um, I don't know what else to say. This, this, this shocked me. But you know what? It is what it is. Uh, if LJ Ford gets signed by another team, uh, I wish him the best of luck. I, I <laughs> Why? I'm going to just end it here. That's all I got to say. I'm out of here. Peace.